Hey guys, this is Jean-Claude. We are just a few days away from Mass Mutations. We're going to get through these two decks first, and then I'm hoping probably Friday night I'll be able to put out a Mass Mutations video. Worst case scenario, Saturday morning. I have to be able to actually go pick it up and have the time to both open the deck, discuss it, and then be able to edit the video. All right, we've had some real stinkers the last few decks. Silver Archon, we're going to go slow so we can try and prevent the Brobnar. Real slow, real slow. Star Alliance is the first house. Second house, Shadows, very nice. Come on, baby. Please. Oh, it's Dis. Excellent, no Brobnar. The specialist that cures maximization. Okay, the Archon has uh, those little bird bat things we've been seeing lately. Very tiny head, like a headdress behind it. Robes, liking that quite a bit. Is there some sort of small symbol in here? You know, I always thought it'd be real neat if, like, they hit on some of these Archons. Like, this could be a future set symbol there. It kind of looks like a spade or a club, like on playing cards. All right, let's see what we got inside this thing. And I'm sure some of you have a theory going around that whenever we get the Mass Mutation, even though brobnar has gone, I'm going to somehow open up a 12 Legacy deck. I'm going to have an entire house that literally has all Brobnar cards instead of maybe Saurions. All right, we're starting off with Star Alliance. It's Ingram's Blaster Upgrade. Amber Deputy Play. This creature gains Fight Reap, deal 2 damage, or attach it to Medic Ingram. If you attach it to Ingram, fully heal a creature. Ooh, Transporter Platform. It's an artifact. Amber Deputy Play. It. Action, return a friendly creature on each upgrade attached to it to your hand. Already seeing an upgrade. Seeing the Transporter Platform here. Please give us a lot of upgrades. Oh, well, with Amber, oh, I always jinx myself. Quadra Quarter, it's an upgrade. Your opponent's keys cost plus one Amber for each house represented among friendly creatures to a maximum of three. Zap, Amber Devy Plate, deal one damage to a creature for each house represented among creatures in play. Stealth Mode, Amber Devy Plate, your opponent cannot play action cards during the next turn. Sensor Chief Garcia, three power, play, fight, reap. Keys cost plus two Amber during your opponent's next turn. Red Alert, if there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures, deal damage to each enemy creature equal to the difference. Medic Ingram, 3 power, play, fight, reap. You may heal 3 damage from a creature and ward it. This effect is so powerful. Love seeing Medic Ingram. Light of the Archons, it's an upgrade. Amber Devy, play it. This creature gets plus 1 power and plus 1 armor for each upgrade attached to it. Okay, give us some more upgrades. Oh, there we go. Cloaking Dongle, it's an upgrade. Amber Devy, play it. This creature and each of its neighbors gains elusive. Okay, I already see what target I'm hoping to get with the transporter platform and all these upgrades. It's definitely going to be that Medic Ingram. Chief Engineer Walls, that's awesome to bring those back. Two power elusive, play, fight, reap. You may return an upgrade or robot card from your discard pile to your hand. Arm Master Molina, four power, hazardous three. Each of its neighbors gains hazardous three. Now we're on to Shadows, it's Displant. One power elusive, after a player chooses Dis as their active house, gain an amber. Long Fused Mines, it's an artifact, Amber Devy play it. Omni, sacrifice it, deal three damage to each enemy creature, not on a flank. It's a fun card. Ooh, too much to protect. Amber Devy play it, steal all but six of your opponent's Amber. A second one of those, okay, that's pretty cool because this really can slow down some rush decks. Even if they come right out the gate, they're more afraid because they know you have two in your deck. Subtle Chain, Amber Devy play it, your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Dusk Runner, it's an upgrade. This creature gains Reap, Steel and Amber. Pretty good with that, Walls. Yancey Gang, 5 power, Action, Steel and Amber. Oh, a second gang. Umbra, 2 power, Skirmish, Fight, Steel and Amber. Hugger Mugger, 3 power, Elusive, Play, Capture and Amber. Then if your opponent has more Forged Keys than you, you get to Steal and Amber. Hit and Run, deal 2 damage to a creature, return a friendly creature to your hand. A second one of those. And that's the end of Shadows. We are on to Dis now. It's Human's Bane. Amber, have you play it? Destroy a human creature. Oh, Lord Invidious, we got ourselves a leader, 5 power, elusive. While it's in the center of your battle line, it gains reap, take control of an enemy flank creature, and exhaust it. While under your control, it belongs to House Dis. This automatically has to be the best first turn play in this deck. Soul Keeper, it's an upgrade, Amber Devy play it. This creature gains destroyed, destroy the most powerful enemy creature. Snag, 5 power, fight. Your opponent must choose the house of the creature Snag fights as their active house on their next turn. Poltergeist, Amber and Every Plate, use an artifact controlled by any player as if it were yours, destroy that artifact. Bornit, 3 power, reap. Reveal the top 5 cards of a player's deck, purge a card revealed this way, shuffle the other revealed cards into that deck. The Evil Eye, Amber and Every Plate, keys cost plus 3 Amber during your opponent's next turn, that's great to pair with the too much to protect. 
And Furnace, four power play. Purge up the two cards from a discard pile. Your opponent loses Amber equal to the total Amber bonus of the purged cards. Oh, a second one of those. That's awesome. I love decks that have at least two. Imp Spectre, two power destroyed. Purge a random card from your opponent's hand. Harbinger of Doom, two power, three armor, destroy, destroy each creature. Okay, it's good to at least have a board wipe in here. We got artifact control, board wipe. Looks to be a decent amount of creatures so far. Oh, a second one of those, and that is also the final card of the deck. All right, let's see here. I feel like, well, I'm not even going to try and take a guess that. Let's get our amber up. Okay, looks like there was, okay, four inside of this there. The shadows have the same count. <laughs> and for some reason, I feel like that's about the same count we had inside Star Alliance. Oh, we're going to actually have, oh, two more. I did forget about the transporter platform. Adding one itself. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Could be 15, just because we might actually cycle one of those too much to protect. Yeah, let's actually call it 15 because of that. Let's get our amber control up now. Stealth mode kind of is. Let's see. Very nice. Evil Eye. Definitely those two Infernuses. Hugger Mugger. Umbra of the two gangs. Dusk Runner will help us out. And Sensor Chief Garcia and Quadra Quarter. Wow, that's a decent amount. All, all across three houses. I'm loving that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh. Whenever you have this high of a count, it's important that a lot of those are attached to creatures. That way you're not necessarily holding on to like a steel card or dropping down a card, not really getting its full effect. That's really powerful. It's okay if it's something like Infernus, though. Infernus you don't mind holding on to, because this typically does drop your opponent down by two amber. At least having some of the steel attached, like the Umbra and the Yancey Gangs, that's pretty important. Same with the Garcia. Wow, that, that's just a really good amber control count. Let's bring up the creatures. I feel like that's going to be a very solid number as well. This deck is not going to be overpowered, but it's definitely going to be serviceable. It'll be a pretty good deck. I think I'll have a lot of fun with this at Chainbound. Uh, I probably won't take it to anything above that, but you know, I like finding as many Chainbound decks as possible. I think Chainbound is one of the best events. You get to play a variety of decks. You're not looking to bring like your most powerful deck. You're just there to have fun and really experiment with these cards. All right, so we have one, five, 10, 15, 17. Wow, I really thought we were getting closer to 20. Huh. Wow, that's just crazy. I really thought there was more. Okay, so let's actually divide these up by the houses because that's a little bit more relevant whenever you have an average count or a smaller count of creatures. Okay, I think that gang got into our Star Alliance. Oh, no, okay. So, oh, wow, there was only four in Star Alliance. See, I thought there was five. That's a shame of Star Alliance. I mean, our last stick that had Star Alliance, we had a whole bunch of upgrades and also only had four creatures. This one had a decent amount of upgrades, and the transporter platform, making it a little bit more important, at least all four of these are pretty good creatures. So there was, what, was that five shadows? I wasn't actually counting them. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight in this. A lot of these are utility cards, though, like the Doom. Inspector's pretty nice. Fortnit, Snag. Yeah, actually, all these disc creatures have all these additional effects that make them really cool. Okay, so the main thing with this deck is it only has 15 amber and 17 creatures, but it is a little bit more controlling. We're able to control our opponent's amber with like the Garcia pretty well, the Evil Eye, make them go higher, really punish them with the too much to protect. And if they stay low, that's whenever you can use the Umbras, the Hugger Mugger, the Infernuses, just punish them for not going high to forge a key, really slows them down over time while you try and build up your Amber Pool. The upgrades are going to be a lot of fun to play with. I really would love to see the Ingram being bounced constantly with the Transporter platform. That way we're able to both ward a creature and get all the Amber from replaying the upgrades. That's pretty sweet. And it has a pretty good survivability thanks to the Cloaking Dongle and the Light of the Archons. And putting a ward on like a Yancey Gang, that's really, really good. Harbinger of Doom is going to be one of those cards where you really have to decide if it's worth playing it. A uh, good chance we will in this deck. A lot of the cards that deal with our opponent's creatures are smaller. I mean, we've got three damage to all of them. The hit and run does two. 
Uh, red alert requires us having a low creature count, which we do, but it doesn't necessarily take care of big creatures. So that's where this deck is really lacking. You get a big story on board against this, those Harbingers of Doom are going to have their work cut out for them. Overall, it looks like a really fun deck. I think it has some pretty sweet combos in here. I like the fact that we can get additional removal thanks to using walls to bring back the Soul Keeper. That's actually our best way to deal with our opponent's bigger creatures. And yeah, the fact that we can bring it back with walls, that's pretty sweet. Transporter platform with walls just to get two upgrades to quickly throw down. It's pretty awesome the first turn you play it. The stealth mode is going to pretty much guarantee we can get at least one key. By playing on a turn where we have maybe six or more amber, we see that they have zero ways to control our amber besides like the steel cards, information exchange, routine jobs, and the like. Rating for this deck, I would say it's above average, even though a lot of its counts are around average. So for the score, let's go ahead and give this thing, this is a pretty solid B. Alright guys, well, thank you very much for watching my videos. Very soon we will be done with Worlds Collide forever, and we'll be bringing in the Mass Mutations. As always, thank you very much for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.